you some of the notation for working with sets. Uh, so a set is something that contains uh, any number of elements. So I might have some set A, and it might have elements, for example, 1, 2, and 3, like such. Uh, and it could have any number of sets, maybe another set B, and it contains 1, 2, 3, 4. C might contain elements um, 5 and 6, as an example. Now, it's important to remember that these sets are representing just the unique number in the set. So this might actually be equivalent to 1, 1, 1, 1, uh, 2, 2, 3. But I only show each element uh, here one time. And the number of elements that exist in the set is known as the cardinality. So in set A, I have three elements, 1, 2, 3, so the cardinality is 3 here. Uh, for set B, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, so the cardinality is 4. And set C, I have two items, so the cardinality is 2. Now, sets also have relationships with each other. Uh, in the sense that uh, we can express what elements are in each set in a relation to others. So A, we could say, is a uh, subset of B. And the proper way to say this is that A is a proper subset, that's what this uh, sign means here, of B. Which means all the elements are of A, the set here, 1, 2, and 3, are in B. I see them 1, 2, and 3. Uh, but these sets aren't equal. If they are equal, uh, I can use a different notation. And to do that, I'm going to introduce set D, which has 1, 2, and 3 in it. And I would say in set A is subset and might be equal uh, to D, in this case, with 1, 2, and 3. All right. Now, if uh, these sets are disjoint, we can say that they're uh, symmetric. And we have this uh, symbol here, this triangle. So A would be symmetric with uh, C, for instance. That is, they don't share any common uh, elements uh, with each other. Okay, so this is uh, sort of similar to the exclusive OR gate that we've learned. Um, with, in regards to this uh, symbol. Now, if we want, we could also talk about building uh, greater sets with the union and intersection operations. So A, uh, union C, for example, is all of the elements in A union with C. So 1, 2, 3, and 5, 6. Uh, if we wanted to say uh, A intersected with B, that's all the items that are shared. So I see one in both sets, two in both sets, three, uh, but four is uncommon. So this is just one, two, and three. Okay. Uh, similarly, uh, we can perform some other operations like the complement. Uh, if our universe, which I'm going to call U here, uh, not to be mistaken with the union sign, is the numbers one, two, three, four. Uh, and I want to take uh, A and let's say intersect it with the union or the our universe one two three four. Uh, this would give me uh, one, two, and three. That's what's common in both of these sets. Uh, but if I wanted to further complement them uh, with the bar, I would say that this is then just four. Okay, so that's a little introduction to some of the notation. The final symbol I want to show is the empty set, which might be uh, shown here. For empty set, that means a set of no elements. I can also show it as just an empty uh, set of curly braces.